Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a project which shows natural and built structures in our environment and we're going to be using Scratch to create this project. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, please check out my YouTube channel um, which will get you up to speed pretty quickly on using Scratch and, and how to code. And hey, I suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be uploading videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to go to Scratch at MIT.edu and which I've already done. I'm going to click the create button because we're creating a brand new project today. If a tutorial pops up, you can just exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. And you can also say goodbye to the cat. So I'm going to click the garbage can. Goodbye, cat. I'm going to get a backdrop first. So I'm going to click away down here. And the one I want is a nice simple one called blue sky right there. I like that one. I'm also going to go get a tree sprite. So I'm going to click down here and choose a tree sprite. So I'm going to scroll down. There's a couple of trees for you to choose from. You can choose either one that you like. Of course, I'm going to choose this tree. And I'm just going to move them over here so it doesn't look like it's floating. Perfect. So now we're going to code it so that when someone clicks on the tree sprite, it says natural or built uh, for two seconds and then it disappears. So look what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go here. Control. Um, no. Um, the events button when this sprite is clicked and I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger so you can see this at home or at school wherever you're working so the tree when this sprite is clicked so when someone clicks on the tree sprite it's gonna say something and the say is in the looks button and it's gonna say natural or built and so of course the tree of course is natural so I'm gonna get rid of hello and I'm just gonna type in natural for two seconds and let's see if that works ready green flag and click it it says natural. Now, after it's done saying natural, I want it to hide. So it's still in the looks button. It's got to scroll down a bit and there's the hide. So already green flag, I oh, know when this sprite is clicked, say natural and hide. Let's try it again, ready green flag. Click it, it says natural and then it hides. Great, except one problem, look. If I start the game again, the tree doesn't appear because it's it's hiding. So uh, whenever you use the word hide, you got to use a show somewhere. So I'm just going to go get a green flag and just have it show at the beginning. So whenever you press a green flag, the tree shows itself. Ready? Green flag. There's the tree. If I click on it, it says natural for two seconds and then it hides. So that tree is now done. I'm going to go get another sprite. So I'm going to go get a car. There's a few different cars to choose from. I'm going to choose this car. And I'm just going to put it down here. Perfect. So now I'm going to code the car, same as I did with the tree. So when the green flag is clicked, the car should show itself. And it shows in the looks button. It's got to scroll down, show. And when someone clicks on the car, so when this sprite is clicked, when the car sprite is clicked, it says, it says natural or built. And, and a car, of course, is built. It's artificial, it's not natural. So green flag, tree says natural for two seconds and hides. The car says built for two seconds and then hides. Whoops, I forgot to put the hide in there. So when the, green, when the sprite is clicked, it says built and then hides. Let's try it again. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go get a whole bunch more sprites, uh, rocks, bananas, a building, a gift box, and a tree, and I'm going to code them the exact same way. Either they say built, and then hide, or they say natural, and then hide. So I'm just going to pause for a minute. I'm going to go get a whole bunch more, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've been getting a whole bunch of sprites. So I got my banana sprites. I got a rock sprite. I got a gift sprite right there. Uh, I also got a building sprite. I didn't quite finish it. I got to put the hide for the building when it's clicked. Hey, one problem with the building, it's, it's awfully small. I'm going to make the building a lot bigger. Uh, instead of 100%, see the size of the building? I'm on building. The building size is 100%. I'm going to make it 200%. So it looks like a, an apartment building like that. And the other problem is it's um, um, covering the tree. So I want the building to go behind everything. So I'm going to go and have the, tr uh, the building go to the back layer. So when a green flag is clicked, go to the back layer behind everything and show itself. Ready? Green flag. So there's the building. It's behind the tree. When I click on it, it says built and then disappears. 
The tree says natural and disappears. The bananas say natural and then disappear. And so your job is to get as many sprites as you can and code them to say natural or built and then disappear. Hey, I think we're missing one more thing and that is a title. And so look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go way down here and click on the paintbrush. And I'm gonna choose a nice color and maybe purple will work. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna choose the letter T for text and I'm gonna type natural or built. There we go. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna grab it and just move it up into the top. Nice. So now I'm going to code the words natural uh, to change color effect just so it looks a bit more interesting. So look what I'm going to do. I'm on the title uh, there. So I'm going to go to green flag. When the green flag is clicked, I want it to change color effect. And the color effect is in the looks button. I think you just have to scroll down a bit. Change color effect. And I want it to do that forever. So just continually change color effect like that. Ready? Green flag. Let's see how it looks. See how it's changing color forever and ever? I like that. I'm gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna add a sound effect to our game just to make it uh, a bit more interesting. So look, I'm gonna just pause. I'm gonna to go to the sounds button right there. I'm gonna go way down here to the bottom and I'm gonna choose a sound effect. And the effect I want is a clicking, to uh, clicking a clock ticking. Like that, clock ticking. So I'm gonna double click that. I'm gonna go back to code. And I'm going to get another green flag because you can have lots and lots of green flags. When the green flag is clicked, play sound clock ticking until done. Uh, no, not bite. I want clock ticking. Oops, I forgot to click it. Hang on one second. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to click on clock ticking. There it is right there. Clock ticking. And I'm going to say play sound clock ticking until done. So green flag um, forever. Play sound clock ticking until done. Ready, green flag. <coughs> Oops, I got to get that chomp out of there. I think I put it in for a different one. Um, but anyways, so we have our title flashing. We have the sound effect clock ticking playing. And when you click on different sprites, they say built or natural, and then they hide. Perfect. All right. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed that activity, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next one. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.